Hi friends, it's Miss Jennifer from Central. Welcome back for DIY Sensory. This week, we are going to make scent bottles. So for this one, you'll need a few different ingredients. Um, first is gonna be these kind of travel size bottles um, that have a uh, top that can come off, but also that can um, pop open in some fashion. Uh, those can be found like in the travel area at a store or uh, they sell them at the dollar store as well. You'll want cotton balls. Um, you might need a little bit of water depending on what you use to make your scent. And then you need something for your scent. So today I'm going to do um, vanilla and pumpkin pie spice because those are two of my favorite things. Um, but some other options are cinnamon, um, lime juice or lemon juice, other uh, spices like um, nutmeg, um, I mentioned cinnamon. You can do other um, extracts as well. You could use perfume if you have a scent that you typically wear that your child really likes. Um, if you have essential oils, those work perfectly for this. I have them at work, didn't have them here today. So I um, am improvising a little bit. Um, but here's a quick picture of some other options that you could use. All right. So I've tilted the camera down so you can see what I'm doing as I do it. Um, but for the first one, I am just going to put my cotton ball in a plate. The plate's completely optional. Um, I just find it's a little easier to contain the mess. So I'm going to start with my vanilla. And all I'm going to do is add just a little bit. Vanilla is a pretty strong one, so you don't have to go too crazy with this. So you can see there, and I can really smell it as I'm doing it. Um, and just do a little bit. All right. And that. And then we're gonna open up our bottle. Put our cotton balls worth of vanilla inside. Okay. Put it on, put the lid back on and you can smell it right away coming out of the bottle. Um, so again, vanilla is a pretty strong scent so you don't need a huge amount of that. Same with any essential oils or other extracts that you might use. They're usually pretty strong, so you don't need as much of them. Um, and you'll still be able to smell right out of the bottle. The other reason I like this, um, this type of bottle where I have a lid that um, has two openings, a child can open this, but not necessarily go straight to this. Um, they might, but you can tape that down if they do um, to keep any kids from getting into that and getting to the cotton ball. So for our second bottle, I am going to use a little bit of water. So I am going to get my cotton ball just a little bit wet. I'm not going to soak it but get it just damp a little bit, just to make sure, because I'm gonna use a spice on this one, um, that it sticks on it. So, I got it a little wet. All right, and uh, like I said, for this one, I was gonna use the pumpkin pie spice, um, but cinnamon is another one that works really well. Um, the cumin or the nutmeg, those have a bit more of a savory scent, so that might be good if your child's not into the really sweet smells. Um, and I'm just gonna tap a little on there. Okay. Tap that on, shake the excess off, put it on the other side. Um, with a spice, if you do that, 
You're going to want to collect as much of it as you can onto your cotton ball to make sure that it sticks and you'll be able to smell it in the bottle. So I'm going to unscrew my bottle, put my cotton ball in there, and put the lid back on. And you can smell that coming out of the bottle as well. Those are our two scent bottles for the week. And what's really great about this is you can use um, tweezers or like a little stick and pry the cotton back out and you can change these out. So this is not, um, you know, this isn't necessarily a final product kind of sensory play. Um, this can be changed out and, you know, find the scent that your child likes and let them use it. Um, for younger kids, this is great to have them figure out some different scents that they might like or not like. For older kids, um, you can have them guess, you know, oh, lime juice. Is that sour? Is it sweet just by the smell? What do you think it is? Um, the bottles aren't labeled, so if they're older and they can read, they can figure it out by smelling it or they can try to. Um, a lot of the uh, scents that you might use around the house already, like some of the spices and some of those sorts of things, like the perfumes, they might be able to figure it out just by trying to smell it. This is great um, to use on the go too, um, especially if you do like the essential oils with like the lavender. Lavender is a calming smell. So your child can maybe take this in the car to smell if you know they're going somewhere that gives them a little anxiety or maybe like with the perfume, if they need something to remind them of mom or cologne to remind them of dad, something like that where they can keep this. It's a, it's a small item. They're not gonna necessarily be playing with it, but they can use it to give themselves a little bit of comfort as needed. So. Those are our smell bottles. Uh, enjoy, and if you come up with any really creative scents, please feel free to share. All right, bye friends.